1961, the Department of the Interior named Telluride, Colorado a National Landmark District, an elite designation for towns deemed to be nationally significant and exemplify events that shaped our national history. The National Historic Landmark District designation identified 1878 through 1913 as Telluride's period of significance. And in 2013, we celebrated the 100th anniversary of the end of this period by taking a closer look at several of the structures built during this time. Telluride Town Hall, 135 West Columbia Avenue. Built in 1883, Telluride's Town Hall is one of Telluride's oldest surviving structures. Originally built as a school for the newly formed San Miguel County School District, the building was replaced by a new school in 1895. The old school was converted into the Town Hall in 1896 and has housed Telluride's local government ever since. San Miguel County Courthouse, 305 West Colorado Avenue. Completed on the south side of Colorado Avenue in 1885, Telluride's first courthouse burned down within a year. Rebuilt in 1887 on the north side of the street, the courthouse remains in use today. Denver and Rio Grande Southern Railroad Depot, 300 South Townsend. Carving its way up Keystone Hill, the railroad crossed the valley floor to reach Telluride's depot by 1891. The depot, which was completed in 1890, features arched brackets patented by the Denver and Rio Grande Southern. The building now houses the AHA School for the Arts. Popcorn Alley Cribs, 121, 123, and 127 East Pacific Avenue. Telluride's red light district sat on the south side of Colorado Avenue. Prostitution flourished in Telluride during its early mining period, contributing to the town's growing economy. Named after the sound the doors made as customers frequented these buildings, these 19th century bordello cribs are rare not only in Telluride, but all mining boom towns, as they were often the first structures to be torn down as communities became more established. First National Bank, 109 West Colorado Avenue. In 1892, L.L. Nunn commissioned this impressive building to house his First National Bank. The building was completed one year after Nunn's successful partnership with the Westinghouse Power Company to build the world's first commercial use of alternating current. The facade of this fortress-like structure was made from local sandstone quarried on the nearby Cornet Creek. With details such as the arches flanking the corner entry, the carved sandstone capitals, stained glass, and a three-story corner tower that stood taller than the courthouse tower, the First National Bank appeared much more substantial than the other buildings in town. The Senate Building, also known as the McPherson Boarding House, 123 South Spruce Street, the area around East Pacific Avenue was also once lined with bordellos, saloons, and sporting houses. The Senate was a sporting house where traveling entertainers and miners would stay. For a time, it was also run by one of Telluride's most famous madams, Big Billy. The Sheridan Hotel, 231 through 235 West Colorado Avenue. After the original Sheridan Hotel opening in 1895, the Sheridan Mine commissioned two European entrepreneurs to build the opulent new Sheridan Hotel, immediately east of the hotel in 1897. The velvet curtains and calfskin wallpaper saw luxurious parties as violins played and guests enjoyed cuisine prepared by a Japanese chef. By 1899, the hotel added a third floor and a second building, 
Over time, the hotel's official name has alternated between the new Sheridan and simply the Sheridan Hotel. The Telluride School, 423 West Columbia Avenue. The original Telluride School was built in 1895. Unfortunately, the bricks used were substandard and portions of the building collapsed before it was opened. Rebuilt with higher quality bricks, it finally reopened in 1896. A horse-drawn carriage used to deliver children to school from outlying areas was commonly referred to as the monkey cage. Hall's Hospital, now the Telluride Historical Museum, 201 West Gregory Avenue. Originally built by Dr. Harry Hall as a community hospital, the building now houses the Telluride Historical Museum. Injured miners spent their days convalescing in this homey facility, commonly known as the Old Miners Hospital. It continued to be the town's main hospital until 1965. The museum has been restored and houses a renowned collection of regional historical artifacts and exhibits. Finn Hall, 440 West Pacific Avenue. One of two surviving Scandinavian social hall, along with the Swede Finn Temperance Hall, this building served as a functional gathering place for the families living on the south side of Telluride on Pacific Avenue. During the late 19th and early 20th century, several hundred Finns lived on Pacific Avenue, a majority of them moving to Telluride in order to work in the prospering mines. They operated their own grocery store, boarding houses, public saunas, and social halls. Miners Union Hospital, 107 West Columbia Avenue. The 1890s saw a dramatic increase in the creation of labor unions for miners, and much of the political strength of organized labor came from the Western Federation of Miners, WFM. The WFM had been founded in 1892 in Colorado, the presence of the WFM can still be seen in the form of Telluride's impressive Miners Union Hospital, built in 1902 by the WFM. The Sheridan Opera House, 110 North Oak Street. By 1910, Telluride's mineral-based economy was slowing down, and construction in both the residential and commercial areas ceased. The last major construction in the downtown area was the Sheridan Opera House, a 230-seat combination vaudeville and movie theater behind the new Sheridan Hotel, built by J.A. and Arvid Siegerberg. On July 3, 1913, the Siegerberg Theater, as it was originally named, opened its doors with the first-class picture show. And according to a July 10, 1913 Telluride Journal article, it was one of the very prettiest and best-appointed show houses in the state. The building is now the Sheridan Opera House, named after its neighboring Sheridan Hotel. The Siegerbergs promised the very best in the amusement ways, and a century later, they've kept their promise. In the decades since the finally appointed theater was opened, the Opera House has hosted movies, vaudeville, socialite parties, dinners, boxing matches, proms, and much more. Telluride's National Historic Landmark District designation happened more than 50 years ago, and since then, much has changed. In 1961, Telluride was an active mining town and was struggling to reverse the economic decline and shrinking population. If mining brought dramatic changes to Telluride in the late 1870s, they were paralleled by the changes brought by a new ski industry nearly 100 years later. The opening of the Telluride ski area in 1972 resulted in a new land rush to Telluride and brought tremendous changes to Telluride that we are still seeing today. The Sheridan Opera House's history is a reflection of Telluride's vibrant story. In the early 1970s, the Sheridan Opera House was renovated and hosted the inaugural Telluride Film Festival. 
In the years since, the building and the festival that helped put Telluride on the map has hosted such names as Lillian Gish, Jack Nicholson, Jimmy Stewart, Martin Scorsese, Cab Calloway, and countless others. Today, the Sheridan Opera House is owned and operated by the Sheridan Arts Foundation, a nonprofit founded in 1991 by Sandra and Keith Carradine to save the building from development. The SAF is committed to preserving the historic building as an arts and cultural resource for the Telluride community. To date, the SAF has spent almost $1.5 million on restoration, including uncovering and replicating the original stenciling and addressing critical safety and preservation issues. The Opera House now serves as a community center providing a home for children's theater, local festivals, fundraisers for local nonprofits, and concerts. The Sheridan Opera House is the premier performing arts venue in Telluride, known for its intimate setting and musical performers. Over the years, it has hosted the likes of Carol Burnett, Jewel, Sissy Spacek, Billy Bob Thornton, The Wailers, Mumford and Sons, Chubby Checker, and Three Dog Night. The Sheridan Opera House celebrated its 100th birthday in 2013 with a lavish gala and partnered with the town of Telluride and Telluride Historical Museum to celebrate the 100th anniversary of Telluride's historic landmark district, period of significance.